and we came back to Universal Studios. So this time, we have a little time to go look around and see what is different now since the last time we came. Hopefully, it does not rain. That's the main goal today, is to get out of here dry. So, let's go in. A little busy for an off day on a Monday. A lot of people uh, extending their weekend, it looks like. It seems to happen a lot these days. I'm all for it. Let's get more friends in the park. I think the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna see when the first tram leaves and try to get on that first tram and see, because I haven't been on the tram in a long time. How many times can I say tram in one sentence? And uh, see if they are still working on the um, Bates Motel area back there and if they're gonna let us go back there at all. So let's try that first. Getting the last glimpses of the uh, Lunar New Year celebration here at the Hello Kitty store. So I think you have like one more week to do that and then we're moving on. The difference that I've already noticed walking just down the main pathway here is all the characters are out. I haven't been able to see the characters the last couple times we came, so it's nice to see them back out. So the park's been open for about 10 minutes, I guess about an hour for some people, but it's already kind of filling up down in Mario Mario World. 30 minutes, yeah, and there's people behind me that are, this wants to be the first thing that they do, but everything else is just 10, 20 minutes, 5 minutes for a lot of stuff too, so everybody trying to get that ride on uh, Mario Kart, first thing in the day. We are going to the tour though. Anybody heard anything about uh, any developments here at uh, Springfield? Uh, I have not heard anything. I don't really expect to hear much for a while, but I don't know, just in case anybody else has heard anything. This could be on its last leg. Let me kind of say, you know, I remember um, what this was before Springfield vaguely. I came here once before Springfield came in. And uh, really the only thing I remember is the chicken The chicken coop was, was Doc Brown's chicken. That's really the only thing I remember. but. It, uh, I, and I also remember the jaws that they used to have hanging right here. Uh, and then they would have like little um, pr um, processions and stuff in this little square here. Uh, I do remember that. It was very, um, very Universal Studio centric uh, as opposed to just uh, one giant theme there. Not opposed to them going back th and taking that route and just being like a, a Universal Studios tribute kind of land. Like the rest of the the rest of the park is. It's kind of a tribute to Universal Studios. I mean, it's a working movie studio, so it's not really a tribute, but you get what I'm trying to say, all right? I'm just just killing time while I make this super long walk. Leave me alone. And they're still working at the bottom of this escalator here, but they got cement Hello, trucks and stuff. That's, oh, I, I thought they were just going to replace the little cart that's there, but it looks like they're putting a whole thing back there now behind that wall. Wonder what it's gonna be. And you can see uh, everybody's heading down to Mario. You can get this tour in first thing. Uh, if it's your if it's your jam, you can get this tour in, and you pretty much will get most of the place to yourself. So, a couple things actually. We'll kind of go in order here. Uh, the first thing is all of the Halloween Horror Nights stuff that was down there, the Holidays in Hell stuff. That's all gone. They're, they're getting rid of it. I don't know if they're moving it to another place or what they're doing with it. But it's also, they, the, the stuff below the Curious George lot, they also, um, they're using that whole area for storage. They, they usually don't start their stuff for Halloween Horror Nights until like March anyway. So that's really probably much ado about nothing. I'm just saying things just to say them. Um, but something a, a little bit interesting, they're doing their 60 year anniversary um, celebration for the tour later this year in a couple months and he mentioned that earthquake's been down for over a year and hasn't been used for the tour at all they're bringing it back in a couple months um, with that celebration so earthquake will be back probably in the summertime finally it's been a little while i haven't been on that in, well a couple years now uh also they're still not letting us back um where the base motel and the, and the mansion are or the war of the world set so he's i guess they're they're, they're shooting back. They're shooting a movie back there. So what they did, I did notice that they tore all the houses down on that War of the World set, which um, is interesting because those <laughs> that set's been intact since they put it up there in like 2006 or whatever that was. So the fact that they're kind of changing it up now is a little bit interesting. They took all the, the airplanes still there, and while I was on that set, I, or while I was looking at that set, I also noticed that um, the the log cabin. I think it's the log cabin from the Great Outdoors is actually behind that 747 now. I thought they took it out completely when they removed the big blue screen and the lake. But no, I think the log cabin is back there behind that airplane, just taking up space. It looks nice. I mean, it looks pristine. They, 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 they're not using it for anything, I don't think, but it's still keeping, you know, being kept up and being painted. Other than that, 
the, uh, he also said that they there is a chance that they're probably they might be getting rid of the finale for um, Fast and Furious because they're bringing the roller coaster in. So they may just move the whole Fast and Furious vibe up to where Springfield is now. And if that's the case, I kind of hope that happens. Every time I go in there, it's a little, it's a little, just a little too cringy for me to have any fun. But yeah, that would be nice if they actually got rid of that. Other than that, let's go see what else the uh, park has in store for us today. Well, they're starting to come in a little bit. Let's go down the escalators and see what's going on down the lower lot. Looks like it said everything was five minutes down there. This is still one of my favorite views in any theme park in all of Los Angeles. I know it's. It's the valley, so it is what it is, but this is just one of my favorite things to see. Yeah, even an hour later, nothing's really that much off. And it's kind of the same. It's like Transformers went up a little bit, but that was pretty much it. Jurassic Park is still the same, and, and Mario Kart even went down, because all the people that were gonna ride it got their, got that in as their first ride. A lot of room to, a lot of room to walk over here by uh, Jurassic World. We're not gonna do Jurassic World today. Ain't bad at all. Mummy. 15 minute wait, essentially a walk on. It's like uh, Megatron's over there meeting people. Yeah. Right. They got him modulated super low today. See, your friend, where is your branding? Oh, you know what that means? That little one you get to wait over there. I'm taking a picture of her first. Wait your turn. Get lost. Kick rocks. Loyalty gets you in. You're wearing shorts, make up your mind. <laughs> you failed the soft All right, everything's very uneventful over here, so let's go. Let's go further into the from the robots to video games. Found everybody. Toad. Everybody's meeting Toad today. A little Toad meet and greet. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen Toad out here. Any other meet and greets going on? Looks like just a little mini. The, all the little mini games are going. Everybody's power banding it up. Gonna win these games. <laughs> it's, a very, it's a very little area, but it's so busy. I guess it makes sense. It's the new, it's the new park, so the new part of the park. Uh, Told Still Cafe. There's still time to join the waitlist. That's interesting. Even on like a rainy Monday, that this thing sold out before 11. But there is still time to get on the waitlist at 11:30 ish. 11:25. Still time to get on the waitlist at Told Still Cafe. That's not bad. And a lot of photo ops going on too. <laughs> doing their thing. Okay, we're gonna get out of here because there's too much too much going on. So we're only a matter of weeks away from when we're gonna be able to start seeing things starting to take shape here, right? For horror nights. Oh man, I cannot wait. And Homer and Lisa are out doing meet and greets too. And Krusty's out. All the Simpsons meet and greets are going on as well. A lot of meet and greets today. You know what they should do because they have this extended queue for the Harry Potter ride back here by the secret path. They should just follow that line of chains and just make that a maze, like an outdoor maze. How dope would that be? They're still doing construction on the little stage here. Uh, I'm assuming that that's just gonna be like beautification. I don't think they're changing anything because the rocks and the flags are still back there. And then here, along this side, there's, um, there's excavators back there. I can hear them back there working. So they're actually digging stuff out over here. What it's going to be, I have no idea. But they are actually actively working as we speak right now. Look at the courtyard back open again here. I forgot what it's called, but they got it back open. And also the Parisian courtyard is open. I never get to go in here because this is always a, a maze. So I'm, I'm gonna walk through here because this is all new to me. This, this here is always just La Llorona or Monstros or holidays in hell, and it's just weird seeing it like this. I wonder if they're gonna use this at all. There's so many weird questions, because everything just seems, I, I think it's just a lot of it is, it's still, it's February, so I just gotta hold my horses. Hey, Gru's out. Gru's out with Bob today. Yeah, so I, it looks like the people are just kind of moving in droves together, because now there's no wait for Secret Life of Pets. Total walk on. I got the little duck from Migration out for meet and greet as well. Get your hugs on. And the uh, Scooby Doo gang also out. And the walls up over here too, still from Long Rouge. They're painting the windows or replacing the windows. Oh, they took the sills out. So it looks like they're, yeah, they're replacing the window sills. So maybe just kind of redoing the outside of it. 
it's, I mean, from all the rust and stuff, <laughs> I could use a little, uh, a fresh layer of lipstick maybe. And of course it is starting to rain, but that shouldn't stop you from going in there and getting this going. Who wants to get wet in February? Just because it's raining doesn't mean it's uh, not warm. It's kind of warm outside. Now we've got the uh, construction continuing with the Fast and Furious roller coaster. They are, they see they're digging again uh, down there on the bottom. They're, but the, yeah, those rails are completely buried with the exception of this over here. And I don't know if they're gonna maybe continue um, putting those rails like they had up there here too. One thing I did notice while I was on the tour is down there at the turnaround, all those trees, you can see it, all those trees are getting chopped down. So they're gonna use that whole hillside too, it looks like. I thought they were just gonna kind of funnel you through like a cool little, a real tight space, but looks like all those trees are coming down too on that hillside. So we're losing all the trees here. And the guy blowing the whistle over there, he is, I think he's, he's giving the signal of uh, it being okay to raise and lower these things here that the, um, the cranes are, are doing. He was doing that to a, with a generator earlier, but I think he's, uh, that's kind of an all clear type of whistle, I believe. Because um, if you look, they've got, I mean, the guy's got to control the crane from up here and he's got to move it back and forth and make sure that it drops in the right, in the right area. He doesn't have the best vantage point, so he's got to rely on somebody down there with eyeballs to help him with this. Uh, there still seems to be a ton of work up by that loading platform. I still see all that as queue space. I'm a little upset. I was hoping that the, the queue would be fully inside of a building somewhere so that they could theme it out and make it dope. I really hope that they don't just put all this here outside and just make switchbacks with, you know, some like kind of like how they have uh, some of the auxiliary queues here with just some TVs that show clips from Fast and Furious or something. I really, I really hope that this ride is going to be cool. So I hope that the whole experience from beginning to end, including the line, how they do with a lot of their rides here. They, once you walk in to the line, you're immersed. And I like that. And I hope that they keep that going with this. I really hope that the loading platform is not the only bit of theming that they have in the line. Yeah, I, I, I can't, I can't state that enough. I really, I appreciate line theming and I hope that they continue it here with this. Other than that, yeah, they're drilling over there on the other side um, and they've got these little clips in these, in these holes but I'm not sure what more they can do down here right now until they start actually bringing in the, the, the actual track. But they got, I mean, they've got a ton of work. Most of the work is gonna happen up here right now. Seems like they should have more hands with this too. I don't know, what do I know? And after this, I'll probably have to just move right next door and start tearing down all the, you know, all the Springfield stuff. It's kind of nice to go there and stay a couple hours and not have to worry about uh, getting new shoes at the end of the video. There's a lot of stuff going on back there behind the scenes, uh, especially with the tram tour. Most of the stuff is going on the tram tour. Everything else is kind of business as usual. The, the tram tour, because they're shoot, they're, they were filming a lot of stuff. They're, they're shooting a lot of stuff back there right now. So they're moving a lot of things around. Stuff isn't kind of the norm. I mean, the tram route was still the same, but it was weird seeing so much production going on back there. I was under the impression that it wasn't really all Welcome that crazy Universal anymore Studios with the production. To assist with quickly entering the park, what do I know? Anyway, everything's just same old, same old here. But, you know, there's people walking around. There's people shopping. This is good. So have their, uh, I don't know how much longer they're going to have this Super Nintendo World store. I'm assuming for a while. At least until they get something new. And then maybe they turn that into a Fast and Furious store. Because it's a, it's a Universal Presents spot. So maybe every time they get something new, put something new in there, you know, shake things up, keep things fresh. Look at how big that Tucson Emporium was too. That's big. This is like my favorite place to go is up the escalators next to the uh, Five Points Amphitheater because they got Taco Bell. Don't judge me, man. So not a bad trip. Universal, I guess, right? Uh, things are just kind of going along, doing what they do. And uh, there's a lot to look forward to. In this, in this park. I cannot wait for Halloween to start popping off. And uh, I know most of you feel the same way. For now, I'm going to enjoy this delicious Taco Bell. I'm gonna go pick up the kids from school, take them to the batting cages. And then I'm gonna prep for, I guess, visiting the next park, which 
I'm assuming will be nuts, right? I don't know. Either way, catch y'all on that flippity flop. <laughs>